What's going on everybody? Doing another pod review from Refining Fire Chilies. You see it, you can see the site right there, www.superhotchilies.com. Anyway, I got something interesting here that I don't know too much about. This is called the seven pot orange. I didn't get there's no information on it. Uh, there is a, a yellow trinidad at seven pot. Um, it doesn't it's not called orange, and it's, this is called yellow, and uh, it looks a little bit different. Um, so I really don't have much information in it, except for I'm going to eat it, give it a test, get, let you guys know what it tastes like. Um, but anyway, I also have this is called the, this is called the seven pot orange. I got another one here that's called the seven pot seven pot giant orange. As you can tell, they look very different. This could be the Trinidad one. I'm not sure yet, but I'm going to do this another review for this one. If I, even if I find out they're the same ones, which I don't think so, that's just a completely different looking pot. But sometimes it could be. I'm still going to do a review on this. Anyway, I don't know. I don't have much information in it. So I'm just going to go right at it. Crack this guy open. Get a couple of... Not bad. You see the, uh, it's got a few seeds in there, really not many. You see that uh, it's got some nice oils. Seven pots are usually a decent taste in pepper, uh, especially a yellow one would probably be a good flavor, especially for sauces. But let's go ahead and do this. Juicy pod. Wasn't well, a lot of percentage you've seen. Seems like it was at the end. I eat the seeds. So it's like suck one. I breathe one of them in. That's a decent flavor. Not bad at all. Got a little burn starting to build up in the mouth. All around the mouth. It's a pretty tasty pod. Just kind of waiting for it to build up. I don't think it's going to be too scorching. When I breathe in, it don't burn that much. A little bit when I talk, you can see it. You can feel a little burn in the actual little inside of the lips here. A um, little in the mouth. Real nice pot for most chili heads, you know. Um, especially the ones that don't really like it a lot and do like a little flavor. It would be a very good choice. But again, it's called the Seven Pot Orange. You might have to wait a little while for the... Um, the site to be updated. He's got a lot of pods that he's starting to put out, um, especially later in the year as it is now. You'll see him put a lot of new varieties, new strains, or new crosses and stuff like that to try and check out. Because he just recently got them this year. So a lot of them may not be on the side. He's also just running through tests as well to see how they grow, how they taste, all that good stuff. Yeah, it has a nice burn. Overall burn in the mouth, decent not in the throat. I'm figuring that this thing's going to pretty much peak about now. It'll probably linger a little bit in the mouth. Overall, nice little burn. Um, I think it may may linger for a little while. I do feel it in inner lips like that's unusual. I do usually a lot of times don't happen unless you eat a pod and take a shower or something. I'm trying to swallow, see, talk. No. When I talk, you'd feel that I have something burning in my mouth a little bit, but not much. I'm not going to let it keep rolling. Um, I think that's pretty good enough. It's a decent pod. I would imagine it's a pretty decent producer as well. But uh, I'll probably do this guy later on tonight. This big old giant orange there. Uh, it's called a seven pot orange gigantic. Um, or giant, seven pot giant orange. Um, 
But that's it, man. I appreciate you guys watching. Uh, don't forget to subscribe. Questions, comments, appreciated. And uh, thank you, man. This is Rob Hubbard, and I'm out. Again, I'll put the website, www.superhotchilies.com, in my description. Appreciate it. Thank you.